What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm Mike. This is Zeus, my lifted Indoraptor. And I want to take you guys on a trip back to the 80s. That's right, the 80s. When all the cool shows were happening, man, it, it was great. It was a great time. And particular one show left its mark. Yeah. If y'all are familiar with the show Knight Rider, that's right, Kit, the Trans Am with the light back and forth. Yeah, that made the cool sounds awesome. I mean, that is what I was wanting to shoot for with Zeus. So stay tuned, we're gonna do a project together. All right, so you pop the hood and then the next thing you're gonna wanna do is remove several of these plastic push pins pull it up then you access the the base of the pin and it pops out just like that all right so we've got all these pins out even these that hold the air intake right there because this is up under there it's gonna lift up pull this right out just like that access the bolts underneath give you a good chance to do some uh, cleaning under here that we normally wouldn't do Let's see if I can show y'all see here will be the bolts that we will access here there'll be four here then we pop this loose just like this and there'll be bolts in behind there so be careful you don't drop them down in there you don't have to use a deep well that's all i had laying around all right Notice these right here. There's four of these. I've already lifted this one up, but I'll show you. Put it right under there. Prize it right up where you can get your fingers on it. Just pull it out, just like that. Okay, so we've got everything from the top loose and you're gonna have to pull this out and back in here, I can actually see it from the bottom half. There's a bolt back in there. So the only thing that holds the bottom half on are two bolts. One here, one over there, and they're eight millimeter. We've got the bottom bolts out. So now I've got a couple connectors right here on the Raptor. I've got to take these loose and the grill should just pop right out. All right, get everything loose and we'll be really careful when we lift it up and out. So I actually had my father help me. So we push these back, lift the grill out. You wanna lay this down, whether it be on the carpet or a flat, soft spot because you don't want to damage your paint carefully all right so these are going to be a 10 small extension the extension here that part comes loose yep we're good now we have access to where the light will be Okay, so I had to make a small modification right here to this bracket that holds the front camera. And it normally has a little pin right here. So I took the pin out and cut this because the light bar is going to go right across that. And it just wouldn't work with that pin sticking up. And besides that doesn't move anyhow can't really tell but this is my light bar right here and got it started 
actually past that point. So you thread it in between these little bars, just like this. See that? It's going just like that. It's going to wind up somewhere right there. Okay, so got the light, got everything put back down here. This piece, I haven't, I've tightened my bolts down, but I haven't put the, uh, top shroud on yet because I come up through here and mounted the brain unit right here because that shroud's gonna cover right across it. And I've ran my wires, they'll be out of sight all the way back here. And on the Raptors, we have the uh, overhead switches and they're right here. So I'm gonna tie this light into one of the overhead switches. If you guys don't have an overhead switch, um, on your Ford F-150, then you can um, put a switch on the dash. You just gotta run a wire into the cab. And I found the best place where I ran my stereo wire was right down in there. There's a big giant rubber boot. Not sure if you can see it. So just to let you know, this light that I'm using has many more functions, patterns, and colors, but the Knight Rider Red is the primary one I'm using, but you can use any one of your choosing. Before anyone asks in the comments below, there are no sounds associated with the light that is primarily just for the video that I've added these sounds. So no real live action sounds with the light unless you add a PA system on your own. All right guys, it's gonna do it for the video. Y'all head on over, check out the channel page, check out all my other videos. Why? Cause this video's a wrap.